Hello everyone, it's Melissa here. I'm from Your Journey to Healing and I wanted to show you a super easy, quick way to get your greens in, in a delicious way. Leafy greens are so good for us. They really are um, a powerhouse of nutrition, um, really good to increase the health of and your immune, improve your immune system right at this time when we need to. And so I'm gonna flip my camera around and um, show you what I've got here. So in my little basket here, this is all from our garden. So I've got some kale, I've got some beautiful curly, curly purpley kale. I'm not sure if this is called Russian kale, but it just looks so amazing out there as well as being delicious in a smoothie. I've got these massive cos lettuce leaves. They are growing phenomenally. Uh, I think that might be some sort of silver beet. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone watching. Um, I've got some chickweed. Now this is actually, uh, I never planted it. It is a weed, but it is quite nutritious. I, only a little bit of that in because it's quite high in oxalates. We've got some baby cos lettuce here and a bit of spinach. Now I learnt uh, this from an awesome raw workshop I went to with raw satya. And uh, basically you just pop as much of that into your blender as possible with some water and some frozen fruit. So I've frozen some super ripe, ripe um, bananas. So they're in the fridge. I'll pop a couple of banana, frozen bananas in and just whiz that up for maybe 90 seconds, maybe two minutes if I want it a bit smoother. And that's just in the blender. And then I drink that over the next, that probably makes about four cups full. So you can share it and your family. If you uh, don't have anyone who wants to share in that green juice then, or the green smoothie, then um, that can kind of keep you going all morning. I try and drink it as quickly as I can over the course of about half an hour because I think that the nutrition uh, starts to reduce all the, the nourishing uh, qualities of this amazing green juice or green smoothie does reduce with time uh, as things oxidize. But ha happy to be corrected. I just have a standard blender and nothing fancy. Um, and then I feel like I've got like all of those greens into my day it's super easy to do. If you're growing stuff at home, it's fantastic um, and an easy way to keep things growing. My kids don't like to drink it, but you know, I keep trying. Uh, have you ever made a green smoothie before? What have you put in it? What are your top tips? Uh, we sometimes like to put in mangoes, frozen mangoes, frozen other berries, but the frozen bananas are the best because you can buy them super inexpensive, super ripe from your local grocer and then pop them in the freezer and then there's no packaging associated with that particularly in the middle of winter so anyway i'd love to know if you've made one of these before or if you're inspired to um this is because this is a super easy way to get that into your diet um, one thing i did learn from raw satya was to um or from the workshop was to stick with one leafy green type per smoothie so i've got a variety there but ideally you know alternate between you don't do kale every day it's quite high in oxalates so maybe you go with your cos lettuce or an iceberg lettuce one day the next day you might do spinach the next day you might do um your frilly lettuce i'm not great on the lettuce names but you know keep it to one variety per each smoothie I'm mixing it up today because I can, um, but would love to know if you've got any top tips on this or um, what you've tried before. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I will see you on the next video and I look forward to seeing you then. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday evening and bye for now.